say sorry. Oh, thank you, boo -boos. Good morning, happy Monday. I'm so off track today. I just looked in the mirror and I realized I didn't put eyeliner or mascara on. So, I don't know, I feel like I look really weird because I have eyeshadow on. So I'm just going upstairs for a minute. Sucks because it's going to make Bentley bark, but what else? Now I'm really going to be late. He didn't even care that I was in there because I put a frozen Kong in there with like wet food and kibbles and chicken liver and he gave no cares. But I got the swag. Yes, they're real eyeliner. Yes, they're real mascara. Regular NYX eyeliner for the lash line. And nobody better say enough anything to me. Why were you late? Well, I don't think anyone would even ask that. I'm just gonna be like, I forgot to put eyeliner and mascara on. Y'all have to look at me all day. I don't want you to have to look at something scary. Can you tell? I don't know how I forgot to do that. I'm so thrown off for not going to work. Lord forbid you don't go to work one day and then you're just like confused. Ooh, red light. I gotta put some makeup. Okay, so putting makeup on in the car is not my thing. My left eye came out all wonky. Come on, usually like all the lights are red and now they're all green. Don't they understand that I'm busy? Has anyone gotten this new Yes They're Real gel liner mascara? Not gel liner mascara, gel liner, lash hugging, whatever. It's I, it's like, I forgot how much, I think it's like $25 or something. I feel like, I don't know if I would repurchase it again. I feel like it's for people who don't know how to use liquid eyeliner. It's like training wheels. But it is a gel liner and it does last all day. It's waterproof and it doesn't smudge. Like, it won't budge. So that's a plus, but I don't know if I'd want to rebuy, rebuy, <laughs> repurchase it again. I probably will. Because I love the Yes They're Real mascara. That's like my ish. And I think I need another tube of it, like ASAP. Ooh, the light's green. I'll just put my makeup on at my desk and be ratchet. Okay, so staying up until like whatever time, 1.30 in the morning last night, is catching up with me. I'm exhausted. I thought I wasn't feeling good. Like I feel like I'm getting sick, but I'm not, I'm just tired. Whenever I feel sick, it usually means I'm tired. But Bentley's and I, we're gonna go for a walk at 9.15. Yeah, we're just gonna go on a quick one. Can we go, can we go? We need to pack. Not pack, but. We always take this bag, my headphones, my phone. I have a treat in my hand. He just like thinks when I put a leash on him, he thinks it's a game. I'm trying to like teach him it's not a game. And I should probably like switch my pants because they feel like they're falling off. Oh, and I always bring the bag because I usually, I'm going to check the mail. Oh, I need to go check my P.O. box. No, that is not a walk. But I really need to go check it. And I ate Chef Boyardee for dinner and it looks gross, but it was hella good. But I didn't eat the whole thing. Okay, what leash? This one has poop tags, even though he's not gonna poop. It's okay, honey. If you run, we're not going anywhere. Sit, lay down, wait. Uh-uh. Where are my keys? So then this usually happens. Bye. How did you get out so fast? Sit. Okay, I got him. Usually if I walk out the door, he just stands there. I guess he's not afraid anymore. Let's go this way, because it has more stairs. So I checked the mail, and um, Bentley Bear got mail, not me. His new tag arrived. It's this thing called Fur Code. So it's a collar, well not a collar, but it's a, what is this, a tag? Yeah. It's a tag that goes on the collar. It says, see my info at Fur Code, and then it has his code. 
and I just don't want to show it because I already set it up and it does have my address on it. And then the back, I don't know if you can scan things through a screen, so I'm just going to cover it. It has a QR code and that way if he gets lost, someone can either just type in his website, focus, yo, they can type his website or scan him. Let's see if it works. It better work because I like paid for it. And it wasn't that expensive. It's by a company called furcode.com and y'all know nobody wants to sponsor. Well, not that I want to be sponsored, but it's not sponsored. I just found it online and I think it's a good idea. And my dad, who's really into technology, he's like, I wouldn't scan a dog that I found. But I'm like, you probably wouldn't even like find a dog and bring it home. So it's just, it's just another extra layer of security. He's microchipped. He got microchipped when he got neutered. And he's so small, I can feel his, I can feel it. It feels like a grain of rice. So, barcode scanner. And that's his picture. And I don't want to show too much because I did already set up his website. I'll tell you what's on here without showing you. Um, it has his photograph, his name, his birth date, whether he's neutered or spayed, his breed, color, my name, primary contact my phone number my alternate number and another alternate number which is my parents phone number at home I mean if he gets lost my first my mom's like what are we gonna do I was like it's just a phone call like relax and then my mom's cell phone and then I put Brandy's cell phone so I and you can add more fields to it you can put oh dang it oh man okay that was a fail and putting the ring on was a fail. I got a really small one. It's kind of for a small dog or a cat. And now looking at him, mm, nah, this is probably the right size. Gayate! Nobody cares about you. My email, my Facebook, Twitter, my Instagram is even on here. Um, his sex, his diet, not his sex, like male, female sex. What he eats, I put the brand of food he, well in this puppy, one third of a cup, two times daily. I doubt if someone found him, they would buy him food, but maybe they would just give him a third of a cup if they have a dog. His rabies information, rabies tag number, the vaccination date, his vaccinations listed in here, his due date for rabies, his Fulton County, can I say what county I live in? Well, I live in Atlanta, so y'all know it's Fulton County, shall we? What are you doing? His microchip number and information. Just everything is just in one place. Because seriously, hang on, he's up to no good. You look so dumb right now. Stealing my brush. Talking about you think you're gonna do hair. Please, you are a dog. Say sorry. Oh, thank you, Boobles. I was gonna say, don't tell me you're sorry because you're not. But that was my fault because I left the door open. Mommy fail. So yeah, it's just the wealth of information is in that tag because, okay, check this out. <laughs> I don't know why I got all New York. Check this out. This is his, this is his county license. They sent me, I don't know if you can, I put on my keychain, this big ass, Purple, it looks blue, but it's purple. This big, <coughs> Gaia thing. This big ass purple <coughs> star from PetData.com. If you don't shut up, I'm going to barbecue you. We need to learn, learn how to shut up. And then I have his microchip tag, which is cheap and plastic. I mean, the microchip was $45. You think they could have given a nicer tag? You can buy nicer tags, but... So, he would essentially be wearing three tags. The tag that has his name and my phone number on it. This big-ass star, purple star tag. Then his microchip tag. This takes care of everything. The only thing I do want my name... I want his name. I don't know why I want his name, but... Either his name or my name on a tag, so he is going to have to wear two. So, let's see if it... Let's put it on. So I'm gonna have to hear the jingle jangle of two tags, but they make silencers, so 
I might get a silencer. Hey, honey, it's time to get naked. Get naked means um, take your collar off. So he only jingles a little bit more. Like, it's totally not a big deal. Look, all the lights work. All of the lights. Ooh. He doesn't want me to touch him today. He's being weird. Pie, because I whooped your ass. Yeah, he sounds a little jingly now, but... I want to show them your collar. You're being such a douche lord. But at least now when he's up to shenanigans, I can really hear him. Uh, maybe I'll get a shot of it later because he's just acting a fool right now. I really ain't got time. I ain't got time for that. Oh, do you like my new project step stool? Since it's been in my house for... A few hours, I'm claiming it as my own. They came to replace some bulbage. I guess he left his little ladder. Why do my knees look so hyper pigmented? I wish I had pretty knees and thin thighs and sexy ankles and cute feet. But I have the cutest Bentleys of all the Bentleys. I feel like I'm in charge up here, like, I can see the whole world. I want to go on a magic carpet ride with Aladdin. I'm going to call it a night because I am so... Why is my hair like all up in my shirt? See, I'm not even wearing a bra. That's how tired I am. So I'm going to call it a night. Bubbles. Bentleys. Sit. Honey, sit. What's wrong with you? You know how to sit. Sit. Well, fine. Say bye to all your friends. Uh, bye guys. Come on, come. Bentley. He's so tired right now. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Lay down. Lay down. Good. No. Sit. Lay down. Nope. Sit. Sit. Bubba's. Sit. Lay down. I was trying to teach him shake and I think he's confused because he's giving me his paw. So we're both too tired to vlog anymore, so bye!